Abingdon. You are at the Abingdon Channel and this is where we go on adventures with women in non-traditional industries. I'm, I'm really nervous about today because uh, my friend who's known as Scuba Kelly in the scuba world has been trying to get me to come out to scuba dive Lake Mead and I am such a warm water diver. I have no idea what the visibility is going to be like. I have no idea what we're going to see in there. I don't know if there's going to be dead bodies. I don't know if there's going to be wrecks or if there's going to be just buckets of gold that the mafia drops down there. But given that it is Hattie's Women's Dive Day and uh, we've got the whole dive industry supporting women, I was like, all right, this needs to happen. We do need to go diving. Yes, Kelly, I will come out. We'll dive. Just put me in a really thick wetsuit. Give me a hood. Give me some booties, give me gloves, and I think I might be okay. This is Lake Mead Marina, and um, it's absolutely beautiful this morning. Um, I don't even need a sweater, and it's it's just like it's fantastic. Um, you don't normally need a sweater in Las Vegas anyway. It's kind of warm here, but I am still pretty nervous about the chilliness of the water. I hear it's about 54 degrees, so we'll see if I can handle that. Um, but anyway, let's go dive. So I'm gonna, put my I'm gonna start with your buoyancy control device. Okay. We call this a BCD. And this one is a little bit different than the typical recreational ones that you're gonna see. This one is a little more high tech. This Pretty is heavy duty. that we use for technical diving. This is completely configurable yeah. for you instead of getting something that's pre-configured. If you need to change your dump valve, mm -hmm. somebody's gonna have an emergency dump valve. Sure. It's gonna be the same as the dump valve on their um, safety sausage. So it's an easy part to... You gotta explain what a safety sausage is. Okay. Uh, nobody's, right. they're gonna all like, wait, what did she just say? All right, that, that's good. <laughs> a safety sausage, um, basically when you get done diving... It's not what you think. It's basically a signal for the boat to come to you. Yeah, almost like a balloon kind of mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. Right. So. Good to go. Our equipment's set up. Awesome. Okay. I think we are set up. We're ready to move somewhere. So ready. Thank you. This is what I'm the most excited about is like not being oh, cold. <laughs> so I am such a wuss when it comes to temperature. So I mean there's a reason why I live in Las Vegas. Right. It's 100 plus degrees in the summer. No, we'll keep you warm. I know. I know. You guys are going to take good care of me. Okay. Cool. Let's go. Let's get out there. right now. Totally losing my balance. Scuba Kelly has a, what well, looks like a flight suit. I would love to be in a dry suit, frankly, uh, but I don't have that certification yet. I haven't taken that course. That's something um, that we're going to do in the future. Yes, we are. Kelly lost a bet, so she owes me some money. So uh, we're going to trade it in dry suit, sir. Ah, just kidding. <laughs> this is a seven mil medium. Wetsuit, and, um, and then you got your dry suit. Pretty cool. Anna, I'm, I'm actually wearing like four pairs of long underwear underneath this suit. So. Salt in the wound. <laughs> Salt in the wound. She's <laughs> rubbing it in. Um, so I'm actually getting heated up right now trying to put this on. Super jealous. Suit and up. Oh my gosh. This 
stuff is so tight. I'll tell you, I need a vice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And I'm a, wearing what's called a shell dry suit. When I get it on, I kind of look like an astronaut. You know, that's the only other rating I don't have in terms of flying, <laughs> is an astronaut. I've got everything up to that. We met those Mars people. We can send you to Mars. I tried. Um, Sean and I, when uh, for one of our anniversaries, we uh, we applied for the one we took it to Mars. We didn't get selected though, but oh, wow. that's what we did for an anniversary. Very yeah. cool. So Marsh is going to be on a rebreather. Um, what is, what exactly is a rebreather? It um, actually takes what you you breathe in, then you breathe out, and then it scrubs the CO2 you out of it. Out. Yes. Yeah. And you can breathe off of it. Many, many breaths. They say like 10,000. That's awesome. But you don't get any bubbles, so um, oh. you don't make any sound. It, it, every so many breaths, there's a little teeny couple of bubbles that come out. Yeah, but not like what I'm going to be doing. Nothing like what you're going to yeah. be doing. Yeah, I'm going to be letting everybody know that I'm around. <laughs> so down there to make friends, right? I guess so. And that the fishes will know that you're there. I don't like to make friends with people that are louder than me. Mm -hmm. So hopefully the friends or the fishes down so I'll there. So I'll be on the list. I'll continue on the list. Huh? Yeah, you'll you'll stay nice. on that list with a rebreather. Just just keep rebreathing. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Um, so yeah, something kind of interesting that uh, we're going to be doing today is um, we're all suited up differently and we're all on different systems. So. Um, when Scuba Kelly was telling me about how she's going to be on a two tank um, with two side mounts and it, her weight distribution is going to be different because everything's on the side. I've got something on the back and then Marsha is going to be on this rebreathing system which she's going to look like the predator from the movie Aliens and Predators and it's it's pretty awesome. So um, I'm a lot nicer. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's got like these crazy tubes that go around. But when we're underwater, and you're gonna see this, you'll see all the bubbles coming up from um, Scuba Kelly and myself. You're not gonna really see anything coming from hers. And you're gonna also hear that Darth Vader, that <laughs> from Kelly and I. You're really not gonna hear anything from Marsha, not too yeah, much. Yeah, most of the bubbles you'll, you'll, you will see from me will be me when I'm letting air out of my dry suit. Yeah. So it'll be those kind of bubbles. Yeah. Otherwise, I'm pretty sneaky, I guess. So That's I'm awesome. Yeah, she could totally sneak up. She'll, she'll be like a spy. I suggest plenty, drink um, plenty of fluids and admit the fact that you will pee in your wetsuit. Oh, I'd well, be in my wetsuit and I'm not scared of that. Well, it's your wetsuit. You're yeah. not sharing it with anyone. Yeah, sure. rental suits, yeah, you could totally do that. Um, I'm the first one to use this suit, though. Okay. So, I, so I've so i been told. So does that mean I, I christen it if I That's pee in right. it? Yeah? Yeah. Does that, is it kind of like a, like a dog peeing on its territory? Does it become mine if I pee in it? Not exactly, but no? you're more than welcome to use it every time. <laughs> <You know>. <laughs> <sighs> it's nice that they put this little long wrist on it. I'm actually kind of excited too because I'm going to be testing out a new dive watch that I built. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try that out too. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. But I should probably set the time right on it first, huh? And then because I have the one that I always dive with, I'm going to use that one too. I'm just going to be double wristing. Nice, pretty good, see? Yep. Exactly. One is none, and two is one. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a done and see. What is that saying? Better to have a gun and not need it than need a gun and not have it. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Something like that. As long as you got the bullet. <laughs> so this is like a packing cube that you you can use like when you're just packing your suitcase, and I totally use it for dive gear, and everything else. That means. Let me think about this. Once I have the hood on, once I have the goggles, goggles, the uh, snorkel mask on, then the only exposure to the lake is going to be here. And, and that's it. So I might come out with purple lips, but they're gonna have a heater on for me. <laughs> so, well, uh, we'll get me warmed up real quick. No hypothermia today. I need a pocket. I actually don't know if this one's going to be long, but because I have a glove on, I'm going to have you take that off. Yes. 
your bag because I don't want to lose this. No, I want to wear it. Oh, you want to wear it? Oh, okay. That's a prototype, so I'm going to try that watch out today. Oh, okay. Product development is super important. You have got to test dive watches when you're diving, or else. How do you know if you're making it right? Um, when you're outside, you're wearing your, your glasses and they fog up. Uh, your goggles can fog up. There's okay. stuff that you can buy that you just kind of squirt in, rub it around, and you can use that. But honestly, I've always just spit. And spit, you, well, I guess, I'm literally, I'm gonna do it right now. Um, and, um, and then I just move it all around, and then when I put it on, it prevents fog from fogging up. And that's it, pretty easy. Nice little trick, and like Bill said, you always have spit with you, so you got no excuse, just do it, right? I actually spit pretty good. That was a good spit. <laughs> um, but yeah, it'll just uh, you know, bring it out, dry up, and then you're good to go. Okay, so our our dive plan is we're gonna use the rope to descend down. Okay. Just to make sure everyone's good. Yep. Um, everyone's equalizing properly. Um, we're gonna utilize some hand skill or hand signals on this dive. Um, Thank you, boat. <laughs> yeah. Wavy here. Uh, okay, you wait you? a minute. So this is okay. Mm -hmm. This is a question and an answer. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Right. Yeah. So Not, anytime I yes, do I'm this, okay. yeah, this is actually I want to go up. Right. And at any point you can call the dive if you're feeling uncomfortable. If you're feeling this is cold. Um, I'm gonna need to know that one. <laughs> yeah, this is cold. Um, if you've had enough. Go up. Yeah. Waga muscles? Yeah, or? all those little muscles. Oh yeah, everything's covered down there. I didn't realize that. That's pretty cool. Uh, how long have you been diving? I have been diving, I guess, almost a decade. I started diving because my mom offered me a trip to the Caribbean uh -huh. if I got dive certified. And I was like, okay, yeah. Really? And, uh, you know, when I first got certified, I got certified here in Lake Mead. And 
Um, I didn't really love it. I was still very scared. I was scared of the water when I started diving. And um, I found this teacher in the Caribbean that was the most phenomenal teacher. And he just took me by the hand, redid my class, did everything really slow. At the end of the class, when I finally felt comfortable in the water, I just started crying because it was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. And from that point, there was like no turning back for me. I was yeah. like, okay, I'm all in on this one. So I started taking a lot of specialty classes and I was just always taking dive classes. Like that's what I was always doing. And then I decided to go on and be an instructor after a few years. So that's awesome. Yeah, you've got the the super gonna cool. be warm. <laughs> yeah, the desert's kind of a funny place because it gets so cold and so hot. Uh -huh. There's not really a lot of in between. But just to thank you, it's a very small token, but um, one of our scholarship winners created this amazing sticker, and we use them everywhere. And um, so I picked out three for you. Um, because in diving you can travel anywhere, uh -huh. uh, it says, ladies, it's time to travel. Okay. So here's the sticker for you. Of course, because we went diving today, we've got to have a ladies, it's time to dive sticker. Nice. So definitely mm -hmm. stick that one yep. under here for sure. Definitely. Nice. Thank you. And then given that we're on a boat and we have to launch off a boat. Oh, launch time. It's gotcha. time to launch. <laughs> yes. And uh, since we're going to be future um, Thank you. Um, astronauts, we can launch that way too. Mm -hmm. it's Monday. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, this is mostly for you, Marsha, uh, because you did all the photography, so it's time to shoot photos. Right. Mm -hmm. So, but I have one for you as well. Thank too. you. Uh, but this was awesome. It completely broke my fear of getting into this lake, so right. I've only ever stayed like three feet and up, so I got a little bit lower. So I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. You got a lot lower. You got a lot lower. <laughs> all right, well, thank you. First of many. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, I want to say a big thank you to Desert Dogs Diving for letting me come out, spend the day with them on their boat, and having them give me this amazing tour of Lake Mead. It was a total bucket list item for me because I have always wanted to dive Lake Mead, but I've always been really kind of nervous about it, and I am not going to lie, this lake is cold. I am real cold right now. <laughs> but it was so much fun, it was so worth it. You've got to go out and check it out and um, just to constantly expand your skill level. I mean, Marsha and Scuba Kelly were fantastic instructors for me today. I learned so much um, just about the different systems that they're using and also just what I can do better as a diver myself. And this was the very first dive I've ever done on a fresh body of water. Um, so that was really cool. And, uh, and we saw some pretty cool stuff under there. So um, very, very big thank you to Desert Dog Diving for letting me come out. Um, if you wanna join the crew, ladies, it is time to join this crew. Click the subscribe button below and keep following us on all of our adventures that we're going to have. And also, one of the things I wanted to point out is that on our website, abingdonfoundation.org, it is an, a free classified ads place. So if you're in the dive industry or if you do something really interesting and you're hiring for jobs, you're giving classes like what Scuba Kelly does where she teaches all of these different advanced specialty classes in diving, you can post on there for free. So I would encourage you to go to abingdonfoundation.org. I'll put the link down in the description post your ads for free. They're good for six months and then you'll get business that way for free, right? So anyway, thank you so much for joining us today and we will see you on the next adventure.